If you want to integrate voice mod, my favorite voice application to change your voice with your Stream Deck, this is the video for you, check it out. I've got mine set up with my Stream Deck XL right here. You can also do this with a 15 key Stream Deck or a Stream Deck Mini. Links in the description below to both of these devices. But basically what you can do, is you can choose your voice on your Stream Deck, then you Hit the button right here, it activates party time at the press of a button, or I can become Stephen Hawking at the press of a button, etc. And then you can turn off your voice changer anytime you want, just as an example. I'll show you other functions. Also, soundboard. You can program in custom sounds into your stream deck using voice mods, soundboard feature, meme sounds, you name it, all right here. Even bonus features like bleeping yourself out, cuss just for comic effect etc let me show you how to do all of this links in the description below to all three versions of the stream deck if you're interested in using it i very highly recommend stream deck xl because you're gonna want a lot of buttons okay so this tutorial assumes that you have the voice mod application installed on your computer and set up and you have the stream deck software installed and set up on your computer i've got playlist tutorial playlists for both of these programs on this channel if you haven't already done that initial step. This video is about how to integrate these softwares together. Understood? Awesome. Step one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the vast library of effects here in Voice Mod, and you're going to heart the ones that are your favorite. Why am I telling you this? Because there are way too many effects for you to choose from when you're setting this up. Hit the heart button on your favorite, take the time to go through all of them. I released a video here on my channel going through all of them if you'd like to just watch that video. Then you'll have a list of all of your favorites here for quick reference while you're setting up your stream deck. You'll see why that comes in handy right now. Awesome. So go over to your Stream Deck software, and the first thing you want to do is, of course, add a voice changer. Down here, there's an entire section of options just for voice changer in this software right down here called Voice Mod. And it has a ton of options I'm going to show you to set up today below that. But these options are actually hidden over here on Stream Deck, not that easy to find. When you boot up your Stream Deck, it'll actually show you Game Capture and OBS Studio at the top of the list. So what you're going to have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the list, alphabetical order down here to Voice Mod to get these options. Got it? Cool. Let's drag and drop a voice changer onto a key on your stream deck like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select a voice. This is why I told you to pick out your favorites a moment ago, because this list, when you click select a voice, especially if you have the pro version is freaking huge. And it's overwhelming to go through this process of going through all of these voices to figure out which one's good, right? So I'm just going to choose a random voice here. Let's just do one at the top alien. Awesome. But I have this key for Alien programmed into my Stream Deck right here, but it's not gonna make it work unless I have a trigger to turn on Voice Changer or not. Cool, so my recommended trigger to turn your Voice Changer on and off is the on off feature toggle button here in Voice Mod. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop that onto your Stream Deck. That's what this button is right over here. And this button allows you when you press it to toggle Voice changers all of them on and off at the press of a button. So what do I mean by that? It looks like this, what I just showed you a moment ago, okay? Check it out. You hit the toggle on button, you select the voice you want, Alien, the one we just programmed in, then you hit toggle on. Then it toggles on the voice changing effect for all voices, okay? And then if you ever want that voice to turn off. You toggle voice changing off, and even though Alien is still selected in this example, or you can choose any other voices, they will not go through until you punch the toggle on button there on your stream deck. Got it? Cool. Awesome. Let's go back to the screen. That's my favorite one, and that one's the easiest one to use, in my opinion. There are some other options here that I do not recommend, such as voice changer on and voice changer off separate buttons to do that i recommend saving real estate and just using the toggle on off button instead because every single button on your stream deck is valuable uh is a valuable is a valuable resource there's also an activate voice changer button i don't recommend uh, using the activate uh, voice changer button either uh just in general uh, i don't recommend doing that i recommend instead uh in your just to save a button in your stream deck uh, or in your voice mod software, what that's referring to is this button down here at the bottom of the screen, voice changer here. 
I recommend just turning that on manually using your mouse when you're starting your stream to save a button, right? So if you're ever gonna use your voice changer, just turn that on and that'll just turn on the voice changer function, okay? Don't waste a button with that. It's once again, a wasteful button. Now, there are other features here about whether you want to hear yourself on and off. This is referring to the voice function of hearing yourself, not the sound effects. So you can choose to basically program an on, a toggle version of this or the on and off manual version of that here. And so what, what feature is that? That's the hear myself toggle button here. It's the exact same thing, just the Stream Deck version. Uh, if you want to place that button on your, um, if you want to place that button on your stream deck, if you want to choose to hear yourself sometimes with your voices, or you want to choose to hear yourself other, not hear yourself other times with voices, that's up to you. I think for the most part, you guys are either going to want to always hear the voices or, or, or always not hear the voices. So that is not a button I recommend programming into your stream deck, but you can add that if you would like. And I recommend doing the toggle version, hear myself on and off with the headphones. And then when you press that button, it will activate to hear in your headphones, your voices. And when you press it again, it'll turn it off with a visual indicator on and off. Make sense? Once again, I think that's a waste of space. I think you'll either want to hear yourself all the time or never. There are background effects in, um, there are background effects that exist in voice mod of like sound effects that play in the background with different voices, for example. So let me just share one of those with you right now. Background effects are very disruptive and I recommend turning these off by default. As you can see, mine are off all the time, but I'm gonna pause my music and I'm just gonna enable this just so you can kind of hear what they sound like. They're super disruptive in my opinion, but I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna turn on the zombie sound effect and you're gonna hear, uh, let me just show it to you uh, through my phone, what the background effects are like. So, as you can hear, it plays this like zombie chain dragging sound in the background, you hear that. And it also does the voice changer at the same time. So it adds a bigger effect, right? But it's super loud, the background effect is super loud. It's super, uh, it interrupts the content. So I'm going to turn that off for now and go back. But the point of me sharing that with you is those background effects are really something that can interrupt content. So I recommend turning that off for the most part and only very selectively deciding to turn that on or not with different effects. And if you want to, using background effects on and off and dragging that here, you can choose when those background effects are playing or not during your content. But in general, I would keep them off. The best feature of this program is the voice changer, not the background effects that come with the voice changer. Makes sense? Beautiful. Now here's a really useful feature that I like because you're running everything through a virtual version of your microphone. <laughs> this might seem lame, but there's a microphone on and off button right here. Why does that matter? That matters because you've created a virtual version of your microphone to use this program. And so if you click that button, it'll actually kill your, the virtual version of your microphone when you press it. So I'm going to press it now. So it killed the virtual version of my microphone that's running through voice mod, not the actual version of my microphone that may be running through my device. Really useful button to have because you are running a virtual device when you run voice mod, not a physical device. So I recommend dropping the microphone mute button here so you can properly mute yourself on the fly if you want. Make sense? Awesome. There's another feature here that I would say is, <laughs> it, 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 it it's not that great, but I'm gonna just show it to you anyway. It's called random voice here, and it will randomly choose a voice from the list. And sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's not. Uh, so you, you'll see, I'll, I'll use it right now, but like, you probably don't like a lot of the voices that are in voice mod, right? And so this gives a chance for you to kind of mix it up on your stream, of course. And maybe you could have your audience, you know, make you press this button and read something embarrassing. But when you press it and then you enable a uh, voice mod, this is it. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get a random voice when you hit this button. It's just going to totally roll the dice. And then you hit it again and it does another random voice. And then you hit it again. <laughs> and it does another random voice. And so it can add some variety with randomness, but 
overall, if you hit a bad voice, you know what I mean? Then that's not a situation that you wanna be in. Makes sense? So that's a feature that I would say use at your own risk. I don't personally use that feature. Awesome. Moving on to the next feature, instant sensor beep. So this is the one that I demoed for you earlier. All you have to do to add this one is just drag and drop it. It's this button right here. And it just has the asterisk exclamation point. And all it does basically is just play a beep over your voice. So if you wanna do a bit where you're like, they're or your etc and you want to beep yourself out and do a comic bit that's all that is it's just a sensor beep sound effect that goes on top of you here's a very useful feature that i've stacked all over my stream deck here all of these custom images that you see here are custom sound effects that i've programmed in using the stream deck and it's the soundboard feature that you see right over here so this is something that's awesome so drag and drop a soundboard right here and then with this it's going to pull any soundboard sound that you have that you have available in the soundboard section of voice mod. So whether you've uploaded your own, I've got an entire video on how to upload your own, or whether you wanna choose one of the ones in one of the packs, like for example, the cyberpunk pack has this heart rate thing, right? Awesome, all of those will be available. When you click this button, you'll see a drop down down here at the bottom and you will select a sound. One way that you can narrow down the sounds that are available here is by selecting the profile and so, if you don't, you're gonna have a list of like hundreds of sound effects. So let's say I wanted to do that heart monitor sound, I would choose cyberpunk, then it'll narrow down the list of all of the effects right here to the heart rate monitor. And notice if you plug in a uh, image to go along with that sound effect in voice mod, it will pull that image over automatically here into your stream deck, which is really nice. Then when I hit the button, it's now playing the heart monitor sound in the background, which is great. And then when you hit it again, it'll automatically do the behavior that you've programmed into your voice mod software for that sound effect. I love it. Soundboard is my favorite feature other than voice, of course, with this program that I use all the time. One uh-oh button, let's say your sounds get out of hand and you didn't program them correctly, is the stop all soundboard sounds button right here. I do recommend adding this if you have a bunch of crazy sounds that you just added and you haven't had a program chance to program all of them. So let's say I went totally bananas and get ready, prepare yourself for just a crazy sound. Here you go, this is what this does is this. Let's say your sounds were getting out of control, or let's say this applause sound effect is going too long and you wanna stop it. You just hit the stop button right there and it stops all sounds on your board. Let's say you were playing the wrong sound effect on accident and you're like, oh crap, just hit the button and it'll stop the sound right there with the stop button. I think this is a useful feature. And so add that to your, to your uh, setup. I'm gonna leave it on here on mine now. If you want to stop sound effects that you've played by accident. And lastly, not a very useful feature. I recommend not wasting a button on this. There's a mute for me on and off button here. If you want to hear the sound effects or not through your own device, you should just set that up in the actual sound effects section of voice mod here. Um, see, it's the mute for me button right here. It's just a stream deck version of this. I don't recommend adding that to your stream deck and wasting a button. Just choose the setting you want in voice mod rather than wasting a button on your stream deck, okay? Your stream deck real estate should only have essential functions down here at the bottom. Turning voice on and off, muting your mic or not, stopping the sound effects, and then you should be using all of the rest of the real estate on your stream deck to actually put in sounds right there to have a better show. Make sense? Guys, if you have any questions about gear, lighting, webcams, microphones, etc., follow me on Amazon. Link in the description below. Check it out. I'm releasing original video content right here on Amazon. Cameras, microphones, etc. I also have idea lists on all of the best microphones, computers, etc. that you can buy as a content creator. And I'm even live streaming on Amazon. And you can come ask me questions live anytime you like. Follow me on Amazon and come join me there. I'm releasing original content on Amazon on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everybody who's been following on Amazon to support me and enjoy your stream deck and your voice mod combination. Link in the description below if you wanna pick up one of those stream decks and have a blast and get creative. Adios creators.